This is a really cool 3D print. It's called a gyro tourbillon. It's basically a very complicated heart of a watch. It keeps the beat. It's a more complex variation of the original tourbillon patented in 1801 by Abraham Louis Breguet. But what's the purpose of this mechanism, besides the fact that it just looks really cool? Of course, the main purpose is to keep time. However, there are a lot more simpler mechanisms that could be used. The main core of a watch is the escapement mechanism. I made a video about this a while back. This one uses a pendulum and a weight. The tourbillon uses a hairspring. The hairspring is the yellow coil you could see in the back. It also uses a balance wheel instead of a pendulum. Here you can see the hairspring and the balance wheel in action. These two pieces regulate the speed of the escapement. Instead of using a raised weight as the energy source, the tourbillon uses a metal spring. And here you can see me winding up the metal spring. It's located behind the big blue gear. The energy is transferred from the metal spring to a fancy rotating gear reduction system. The metal spring is slowly unwound due to the regulating nature of the escapement mechanism. So it works basically like a regular clock. But why does it need to rotate like it does? The reason the tourbillon was invented was to make a more precise watch. From the early 1800s to the early 1900s, people used to wear pocket watches. And when the pocket watch would sit in one orientation all day, it would lose accuracy. So the idea behind the gyro tourbillon is to rotate the heart of a watch, the escapement mechanism, so that way it counteracts the effect of gravity. This essentially makes it an anti-gravity watch mechanism. The tourbillon essentially regulates the speed of the watch and the second minute in our hands are simply gear reductions of the tourbillon. And here's a real life example of this mechanism in action. This is a Giard Perigot triaxial tourbillon watch. You could get it for about $400,000. Or if you don't have an extra $400,000 to invest in a watch, you could just 3D print your own. I don't have this exact 3D model, but you could find some very similar ones online. Or you could buy a pre-built one on Etsy. This video was sponsored by Micro Center. Right now they have a really good deal where you can get a Creality Ender 3 for just $99. This deal is for new customers and in-person shopping only. Micro Center also has a great selection of 3D printer filaments that you could buy in store or online. Micro Center is your one stop shop for everything 3D printing, computers, PC building, electronics, and more. Check the links in the description of this video for a lot of great deals. If you liked this video, feel free to check out these other videos that YouTube thinks you'll like. I also have some new free lessons on my website if you want to learn how to design your own things for 3D printing. Thanks for watching and happy printing.